Welcome to my haunted shack, my friends, and happy Halloween. <laughs> I have my spooky lights, my haunted background. Jack is behind me, doing whatever Jack is doing behind me. My K3 seems to have been invaded by spiders. Should we bring the lights back up or should I do the whole show like this? For those of you guys that helped the channel out and ordered one of my t-shirts, one of my Make Ham Radio Great Again t-shirts, I thank you. I thank you guys so much. I bow my third eye to you. And because it's Halloween and the Halloween magic is about, I can change that. Guys, the t-shirt orders have gone out. They're in the process of getting made. If you helped out the channel and ordered a t-shirt, thank you from my third eye. I got a real short update on the D74. So, you know what? Let's just go look at that. All right, guys, I wanted to give you a quick update on the D74. Hey, my battery life is really coming along now. I'm getting about seven, seven and a half hours of battery life out of this thing now after cycling it oh, five or six times. I've gotten a chance to uh, hook it up to a Bluetooth unit. This is my Trex Titanium. Uh, fits in front of your ears, it's called a bone conduction uh, headset. So if you're in California, you can legally use this in your car because it doesn't uh, block your ears. Anyway, uh, the thing hooks up real easy. It paired up very nicely and it just worked. It sounded pretty good. Guys gave me reports, they said it sounded like it was on a Bluetooth headset, a little bit hollow, a little bit uh, reverbish. But hey, uh, it does work. I've also started playing with the GPS functions in the receive history of the radio. Now, when hooking up to a, another D74, everything shows up just fine and... Uh, as you could see from Burton's position here, his position comes right up and I blurred out his exact Latin long for his privacy. Now, Ray here isn't GPS enabled, so nothing came up. But this guy here on a 5100, his information comes right up on the screen. Now, here's the problem with the D74 in the ICOM world. ICOM isn't seeing the GPS information that comes up from, say, Burton on his D74, but a guy on an ID51, his GPS information would come right up and you could see his exact location. And the last thing I wanted to show you was wide band receive. Thank you no November Victor 9 Lima. Kilo 4 Charlie Echo Bravo. All right, so I'm hooked up to an outside antenna, my hex beam to be exact, and I am dragging in 20 meters here during a contest uh, about a week ago. And it sounds great. The battery life now is holding out pretty damn good. I am impressed with this. The more I play with this, the more I like it. Number three in the series of, uh, of my magnetic loop shootout. I'm gonna do like a mini review of the Alex loop. I already did a partial review of the Alex loop and I've been using the thing for quite a while. Uh, almost two years now I've had the thing and it's gone with me on many a many a trip so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna show you just a little bit about it and I'm gonna take you back in time well 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 it looks like uh, deja vu cuz we've been here before hey guys 
This is the Alex loop. This was my really original uh, portable magnetic loop. And I'm going to take another quick look at it today. This loop is truly the minimalist loop. Uh, everything is designed really, really small, really, really compact. It fits together well, and it is uh, got no frills in this puppy. The box is actually about half the size of the other two that I've uh, reviewed so far. The tuning knob is a real positive stop on either side, and it's about two revolutions to get it all around. Now, Alex, the creator of the Alex Loop, has chosen to use gold anodized or gold plated uh, PL259 and SO239 connectors on this thing. The tuning enclosure is not quite as robust as some of the others that I've seen, and uh, the fixtures are. A PVC snap-in type. Although the loop is made of an LMR 400 type material, the uh, the radiator and the uh, and the feed line are an RG58 type. It's a smaller uh, smaller gauge, uh, but less weight, much less weight. Now Alex truly made this to be a handheld uh, magnetic loop. And, and it shows. Uh, it is minimalist. The, uh, the case is, uh, is purpose-built, is all I could say. And the instructions fit right there in that window. Because I'm feeling a little nostalgic, I'm just going to rewind the last time we looked at this and let you see it. Okay. Still freezing ass cold out here. What I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to deploy... The Alex loop. Open the bag here. Comes out very, very easily. The bottom. The middle section and the top section. That's the main thing you want to make sure those are lined up. And the loop itself. This goes together pretty effortlessly. We're done. That's it. Alex loop is complete. Comes with about six feet of wire with a BNC connector on there. And it's done. I'm really impressed with this thing so far. If it wasn't for the pouring rain, I'd be out there in the uh, in the field. But right now, I'm sitting here under the deck working the 7155 group with little more than a car battery or a motorcycle battery. 
the KX3 and this Alex loop. I'm just trying to keep it out of the rain. Guys, I'm having a good time here. This is fun. The 6 UDA QRP. Uh, we can try 20 meters. Uh, it's going to take me a couple minutes to tune it up because you have to tune it on the antenna. Oh, there's Gil. N2GG. Yeah, Gil, I copy you. K6 UDA QRP Portable 7. Gil, how copy? N2GG K6 UDA. Heard him plain as day just a minute ago, and now it's band conditions, baby. Hey, I want to try a new thing coming up here. Uh, I want to call it Ask Bob Anything. And I don't care, it could be ham related, it could be about women, cars, guns, politics, hell, I don't know, anything at all, anything in the universe. Be creative and ask me anything and we'll see how this thing goes. It may be really, really cool or it may be just a complete flop. We just hit 4,000 subscriptions here. This is pretty freaking cool, guys. Uh, the channel is growing and it is no part into... <laughs> it has nothing to do with third eye blind here. <laughs> Guys, I am getting so close to giving away this KX2 here. Uh, it's going to be about 900, 900 plus more guys hit that subscribe button and I'm giving it away. I am so happy with everybody that's helped out the channel and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, I got Halloween cat videos for you somewhere. I don't know. You could go find them on the internet. But look, seriously guys, help your brother hams out and hit that subscribe button. Let's all help make ham radio great again by subscribing to K6UDA Radio. And I'll keep pumping out those creative videos for you, oh, about once a week. So next time, guys, we're going to have the big shootout. Chameleon versus Alex versus Alpha. And we're going to see which one of these guys reigns supreme, if any of them do. All right, guys, that's all I got. I'm out of here. I'm Bob, K6UDA. I got three eyes, three loops, and I'm out of here. 7 3. Remote system linked. <laughs>